the main social and economic causes of violence, and I'll add political causes, are those that divide the population into the superior and the inferior, the strong and the weak, the rich and the poor. The, the more highly unequal a society is, the higher its rates of violence. Um, for example, the most powerful predictor of homicide rates throughout the world, and this has been repeated in dozens of studies, is the size of the gap between the rich and the poor. The, the greater the degree of economic inequality in a society, the higher the murder rate. The lower the rate, the lower the inequality, the lower the, the murder rate. For example, in the world today, the countries with the lowest rates of economic inequality, or in other words, the highest rates of equality, are the countries of Western Europe, uh, Japan, and the other English-speaking democracies, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. They have the lowest rates of inequality, and they have murder rates that are, in most years, well, in Western Europe and Japan, are roughly a tenth of ours. And in the other English-speaking democracies are about a fifth of ours, 20% as high. In other words, the U.S. murder rates are five to ten times higher than that of any other economically developed country on Earth. Now, one reason for that, the United States also has by far the highest degree of economic inequality of any developed economy in the world. The two go together. In the third world countries, the develop, so-called developing countries, although in many cases these are what I would call undeveloping countries or regressing countries, because many of them are actually becoming more poverty-stricken rather than, uh, than less, but in, in many of those countries, the rates of inequality are even higher than they are in the United States. I mean, in many of the, the third world countries, the population is really divided between a tiny elite of super rich landowners and a huge population of, of semi-starving peasants. Um, and they do have higher rates of violence than we do. I mean, the, the, uh, um, uh, the World Health Organization, with, with whom I've have worked for many years, um, has done uh, really pathbreaking epidemiological research on this, and has shown that uh, uh, the highest rates of, of violence of all are found in the third world countries. By the way, this applies to warfare as well as homicide. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, uh, it true with both interpersonal violence and collective political violence. So. Achieving a greater level of equality is important. In fact, it's essential. The U.S., I can't emphasize it too strongly, has the highest rates of violence in the developed world today. Um, it's, it's important for us, I think, to learn from that what is not working in our society. And I, I, as I said, I'm a, I'm a doctor, and I approach this as a problem in public health and preventive medicine.